What's up, everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're going to be finishing up Icarus's uh, DirectX 12 and FSR and ray tracing video. Since we already got done with all the normal game and all the other resolutions, 4K is all that's left. So let's go get straight into the settings, shall we? Okay. Well, starting off, we're going to just do low settings on DirectX 12 without any FSR or ray tracing. Starting off on... Okay, yeah, let's turn that off again. Sometimes I forget to turn that off. And I won't forget to restart the game, so... I will do that before. And we'll do these things later. So starting out our 4K Icarus adventure this time around. Doing low. DX12. No FSR or ray tracing. Just the game in DX12 mode. Alright, well, it looks like all of my bridges are okay so far. Go check this other one. Heck yeah. So my bridges are all good. My fishing spot is all good. Frames per second is not always all good. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't really seem to like 4K very much. It might just because of something like uh, that I have the like view distance way too far again, kind of like what I did with uh, God, which game was it? Minecraft. So maybe that's all it is. Who knows? I'm not pretending to be a master of this game, but I do like the game. It's fun. As you can see, I've made quite a nice little house. Well, all right. Time to start the camera gameplay, and we're starting off with DirectX 12 low. No ray tracing or FSR yet. And still got all my house here, it hasn't burnt down yet. Added a shit ton of lightning rods, added the lightning rod to the top of that mofo. And I even made myself a little chimney in there to warm that room up a little. I still got my water reservoir, speaking of which. Let's just take nip that in the bud right now. Eat a little food too. Low mode is so weird on this game. Like the render distance is so short, things just kind of pop in on you. Like, look at that rock; it just popped in like one, like five feet away from me. Like, jeez. Well, I guess this is the only way you're going to get even close to 60 FPS on this laptop if you want to play this game at 4K. I'm guaranteeing you, medium is probably going to bring us down into the 40s. But, I think it'll be very playable once we don't do ray tracing and uh, are just doing FSR and shit. Anyway though, time for us to move on to the next uh, setting. Now for the medium settings. Let's just look over them real fast here. As you can see, FSR and ray tracing are both up. Now for medium gameplay here. At least we've got some textures now. We've got some grass and whatnot. That's always good. Still a lot of stuff pops at medium though. But we're already getting room for like way under 60, so it's probably a good thing that it's doing that, or who knows how low it would be. Well, I guess we're going to find out soon though. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's just go up here and check this guy out, make sure everything's all good. Huh. Weird. Shadows are kind of funky. Anyway, let's go back up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got to go like, all the way to the side over here. There's still, like, mountain in the way. I don't really think they wanted me building things up here anyway, but I did anyway. Alright, now for some medium DirectX 12 gameplay camera recorded. And like I thought, we're in the 40s. 
and we're only on medium. But as I always say, no one ever claimed that this was a 4K gaming laptop. It just so happens to be able to play some games at 4K. Not all games. And I feel like this is one of those games where unless you want to like play with FSR, you're probably not going to get close to 60 at 4K, unfortunately. But at least this is one of those games where if I don't have a frame rate counter on, I could probably still enjoy a game like this. Just not when you get in under the 30s. That's too low. Way, way too low. All right. Grab some of this shit. I think I'm getting a little low on on fiber. Get some sticks. Get some more wood. Cool beans. And it's time to move on. Now for the high settings. All right, and we'll do all of these later. So here we go on some high gameplay now. Down all the way into the 20 FPS mark now. But this is a pretty demanding game. Even if it isn't the greatest looking thing. It's not like it looks bad, but I think it's just because it's so open world. I think that's the reason it gets such low FPS. It still looks pretty decent for what it is, especially for 40 bucks. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining about the graphics. Just wish I could get a little more FPS, that's all. All right, I guess it's gonna fall that way. Well, that's cool. Oh, apparently it's 420. <clears throat> there we go. Luckily I saved one little hit just for 420. All right, though, let us move on. Well, all right, we're already on high camera recorded gameplay, and we are already getting some pretty abysmal FPS. Barely over 20. Not my idea of a good gameplay, but maybe some other people could play like this. I don't know. That's exactly why I do this, though, just so everyone can see how it does. And look at that memory. I think Sam is definitely working. Because I was noticing the memory is always like 11, 10 to 11 gigs no matter what in this game. I don't know if it's just a GPU memory intensive game or what, but definitely takes up a lot of the GPU memory. Hard on the CPU too. We're hitting up to like 90 degrees. That doesn't happen in every game. Alright, where is it? There it is. Dang it. I had it out. There we go. Give us a little bit more oxygen. You can never have too much oxygen. Without that, we are toast and can't do anything else. And that's the thing I forget about most of the time. It'd be like the middle of the night during like a damn like thunderstorm and uh, it'd be, oh, well, you need oxygen. I'm like, well, shit, what the hell do you expect me to do about it? It's the middle of the night and it's storming. But all right, let's move on. Last up here, we got some epic quality settings here. And we'll do those at the end. All right, and now we've got epic quality gameplay. Yeah, definitely, we're in the teens now, damn. Hope I should have expected that. So I think what we'll do is when we get to the ray tracing part, uh, I think I will 
bump it down to high. Because on Epic, I can just see us only getting like in the single digits, and that's just going to be a terrible video. I mean, this already is horrible to play. I can't imagine getting any slower than this, you know? So I feel like if we put ray tracing on, it should be in high settings instead. It should be about the same FPS as we have now, which is still awful, but at least I can somewhat still walk around and know what I'm doing at least, you know? And apparently a bunch of my railing got broke. What the fuck? Who broke my railing? Well, I guess I can fix it, but it's time to move on. So now we're on Epic, and these FPS suck. Now we're under 10, sometimes dropping as low as 15. Absolutely lame. Hey, it's my wheat field from my old house. My old house used to be right around here. But then it got struck by lightning and burnt down. And then I remember I had another house kind of around here, like a little storage shed. And after a bunch of storms, it just burnt, it didn't burn down, but it just blew down. Uh, anyway, that was cool. That deer was like, you know what? Fuck you, tree. You are done. And it was all like, woo! Pretty much. You like my little reenaction of what happened? I sure did. fishing spot there. Even though I haven't even made a fishing rod, but I still got ready. We got my pokey stick for stabbing wolves. The honest to god, my best defense against them is just pulling this thing out like a ninja. Just back. Nope, I'm just gonna stab you in the fucking neck and that kills them pretty much instantly. But, why don't we move on to the next setting? So now we're gonna do ray tracing. And like I said, I think we'll put it down to high instead of epic. Since this is 4K and all, and it's already hard enough to run it as it is. And no FSR yet. We'll do that next, but as you can see, ray tracing is on. Alright, now we're going to get a little bit of some ray tracing gameplay. And uh, as I thought, yeah, we're getting about the same FPS as we were before on epic. So that's at least good. So yeah, we would have been in the single digits for sure. And this is already unplayable enough, so glad I chose to do what I did. I know it kind of invalidates the tests a little bit, but... I feel like somebody who would get this laptop to play at 4K would... If they had to play at 4K, which I just wouldn't recommend, I'd just drop it down to 1440p on a 4K TV, or use FSR, one of the two. But if somebody wanted to play like this, I'm showing them that they, this is how it would run. <laughs> chop down these burnt down trees. Man, at this kind of FPS, it really does just move in slow motion, doesn't it? Alright, though. I'd say that's good enough. Let us move on. Now we're going to do some ray tracing camera recorded gameplay here. Now I did tone it down from F to high. I know the rest of my videos all had this on on Epic when I did ray tracing, but I just figured that was going to be like 8 FPS and it was going to be absolutely horrible. It's still already horrible, but at least we're still in the teens, basically right where we were when we were on Epic already. But we added ray tracing, so yeah, I think my worries were warranted. We probably would have been getting like 5 to 6, maybe 8 FPS. And that is insanely unplayable. I, I really don't know a single person who can play at 8 FPS. I don't know anybody that can play at this FPS either, really. They might be out there though, but still, I'm showing you guys how it runs, and that is what I like doing. Showing you guys all the different ways that it runs games, all the different possibilities, which helps you guys make a purchasing decision, or makes it, for, or for the laptop, or makes it be like, oh, well, can I get this game? Should I get this game? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't really run that well. I don't think I will. You know, stuff like that. <clears throat> I think it's about time to move on to some FSR now. Now we're going to do ray tracing and FSR. And we're just going to stick to high settings as we do this.
and we're starting off with ultra quality and we're not going to bother changing this showing this anymore because it's just going to stay the same besides the fsr okay starting off our fsr and ray tracing Ooh, a wolf how do you not see me That didn't work out very well for you. And now more food for me. Take all. Yep, and it's still doing that same thing. Giving us horrible frame times when we combine the two. It was already bad just with ray tracing, but it's awful when you combine it and FSR. So I wouldn't even use ray tracing this game personally. Alright, that's what I wanted. It's so hard just to like grab and move stuff when you're getting this kind of FPS. But let us move on. Well, here we go for our first FSR camera reported gameplay with ray tracing enabled. We're doing ultra quality to start with. Definitely not getting the best FPS. And whenever you do ray tracing and FSR, you get some really weird frame times that just bounce up to 90. It makes it even stuttier and terrible or than it actually looks in the FPS. It actually feels like I'm getting like 2 to 4 FPS right now. And it looks like the animals are enjoying using my bridges. Alright though, this is terrible, so let's move on. Now for a little bit of some FSR quality and ray tracing gameplay. Definitely not the in most enjoyable, that is for sure. There's a wolf somewhere around close by. Sounds like right over there. Yeah, I wish I could like build stairs all the way up to that waterfall and build a house under the waterfall or something. That would be dope. But it just seems like no matter what I do, you get to a certain height and shit just wants to fall down. Probably because it's just wood's limitation. If I like leveled up and got like steel or something, I could probably make taller buildings and shit. Just an idea. I could be wrong, but that's just what I'm kind of pondering in my head right now. Anyway, though, let's move on. So now we're just doing FSR quality with ray tracing on. I don't know why on this laptop, like, everything looks like I'm kind of messed up. When I made all this stuff on my Desktop at 4K, everything looked good. I wonder what the hell happens. Is it just something to do with NVIDIA versus AMD? It's the same resolution. I'm playing at 4K on my da on my main desktop. Ooh, I can go up here and hit him and he can't really do anything about it. Stupid thing. Now I have to repair. Alright, 
now let's go check the durability of the floor. Good as new. Now for a little balance FSR and ray tracing. It really doesn't seem to be making any difference at all whatsoever. I think the ray tracing just kills it no matter what and is going to make it get this kind of FPS. Might as well light some torches. Give that some more fuel. <clears throat> and activate it. That way we can cook our meat. Yeah, we don't need no soiled meat. I don't have any interest in any of the stuff that I can make with spoiled meat right now. All right, though, on we move. All right. Now we got a little bit of some camera gameplay with balanced FSR and ray tracing. And this looks like it's going to be the last camera recorded gameplay I'm going, to have, I'm going to be able to do before I have to wait for night to be over. All right, where are my... There we go. No, there's another one around here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Cool. Where are the other two at? It's hard to see in here. I try to usually remember to light these a little before it gets dark, but... It is what it is. Oh, you're out of fuel. Here's some fuel. Here we go. Uh-oh. All right, just some showers. That's okay. I didn't want it to be thunderstorms. Go like the last two, but let's move on. All right, trying to get this done quick because it's like, looks like it's either about to be nighttime here. Or is it becoming daytime? Since I always do voice recording, I can't remember if I, when I've stopped to make a, you know, the recording so that I can wait for night to pass. Usually it takes like 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes 20. Because if there's one thing I don't want to do, I don't want any nighttime gameplay. It's just pointless. Funny enough, though, it doesn't really get me any better FPS. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. In fact, once I get all my fire going with that ray tracing on, it just kills FPS even more. Alright, alright, let's move on. Alright, now for some performance FSR with ray tracing. At least we're getting closer to 30 FPS now, but still drops down in the 20s here and there. Alright, we had some soft rain shower, so I doubt my bridge got messed up, but I figured I'll go see if it needs to be repaired, you know? One lame thing about having so much cool shit built, you gotta maintain it all after every storm, but so far there hasn't been any heavy winds or thunderstorms yet, so it'll probably be fine. But let's find out for sure. Whoa. 
Well, this one's fine. Ah, how about you? Well, hell yeah. Don't have to do any repair work. That works for me. But hey, let's now move on to just FSR. Now we're going to do FSR, but with no ray tracing. Still going to be on high, and we're going to go back to starting on ultra quality. Meaning showing this screen anymore after this is pointless. I just wanted to show you guys that we are indeed doing FSR now, and starting on ultra quality with no ray tracing. All right, well, starting off our FSR gameplay here. I'm trying to run around and save my house from getting blown down. Oh, there we go. There's one that needs some help. Hey, Misty's coming to visit. Hello, Misty. You can use the other chair. I'm not using it right now. All right, anything else? Oh, yep. Yeah. This is my little guard post basically on my roof so I can watch for lightning fires, essentially. Because <laughs> I kept on getting damaged and then I kept getting attacked by worms if I went too far into the damn cave. So that was my solution. I think it's a pretty good one. All right, though, let's move on. Now for some FSR ultra quality gameplay. Gotta repair my tower. There we go. And then that, of course. Alright, the floor didn't get as messed up as it usually does. Well, that's cool. Yeah, usually these are like in worse condition than my roof was earlier. Alright. Head on down. No, no, no. Down, down, down. Alright. Now let's go check on my other place. It's not built quite as well because it's just a little hunting shack. Let us also move on. All right. Now we got some FSR quality. Still got to run around fixing all my stuff. That's the only problem with having a lot of stuff to build. You got to take care of it every time there's a storm or wind. It's not too bad, though. And I still have done my mission complete, but I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I'm about ready after this video. I'll probably just look it up, because we're, I'm pretty much done doing Icarus videos now. Unless they do some huge, massive like performance update. Then I'll revisit it later, of course. I always like to do that. Okay. Let's move on then. Well, all right. Now we've got some just quality FSR gameplay here. Ooh, there's a wolf over there. Much more playful FPS now once we turn ray tracing on. Still drops down like 29 every now and again though. I think when it has to load stuff in once I get close. Is that the same wolf or is that a different one? Oh man, there's two of them right together. They're all like in a group over here. Oh wait. Yeah, there's another one. 
shit. We got a wolf's up the yang yang over here. Alright, is everything else good? Alright though, let's move on. Okay. Now we got some balanced FSR gameplay now, at least at DirectX 12, and I guess I should go check my bridges. Because they probably got damaged. Hopefully not too much. Misty, where are you going? You're already leaving? Yeah, she gets jealous when I'm making these videos. She wants me to pay attention to her, but I'm sitting here talking and I gotta pay attention to the to the screen or I won't know when to stop talking. I at least gave her small pets. Alright, there's another one that needs help. Yeah, they don't seem to get damaged too much. That one did. Okay, though, let's move on. Now for some balanced DirectX 12 gameplay here. Whoop. Just fixing up my bridge after the heavy winds. Heck yeah. that's for or why I put it in the ground like that, but hell yeah. It's now back to being at full health. Not gonna shoot the baby deer. Hey, some soybeans. Those are a good source of water. Speaking of shit, let's eat. And let's get back up to the one place and drink. And also move on. Last up for DA or FSR on DirectX 12 is performance FSR. Let me go get some water. I'm getting pretty low on that. I'm kind of just looking at where I want to run to next. I almost looked like a wolf was stalking that freaking deer. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a deer and its baby, but I think the sprite got messed up. Ooh, I have to fix these. Oh, you know what happened after that wolf attacked? I probably quit too early and it didn't save. That's probably what happened. Oh well. No harm, no foul. All fixed now. There we go. Get a little bit more light. And we can just deactivate that. We're just wasting kindling. But alright, let's move on. Now for some DX12 FSR performance. Gameplay here. Here I'll run up here real quick and open all my windows. Wish I wouldn't have had that one going backwards, but at the same time, who cares? There's another deer baby and one of those smaller little goat things, I think. What is that? Chamios? Chamios? Chamios. Alright. I want my boat to break, so. There we go. 
much better. And with that, let's move on to the next setting. And last up here, we're going to do FSR on DirectX 11 here. So as you can see up top there, we're on DirectX 11 now. We're going to keep it on high. And we're going to start this off on ultra quality FSR. And you can't do ray tracing anyway, but it is off. And that's the last we'll see of this screen. Now we'll get on with some gameplay. All right, starting off on ultra quality FSR with our DirectX 11. That way you guys can see which one performs better for your liking as well. There we go. Nova pickaxe won't help. I'm looking for... Well, pickaxe will help. I'm looking for Oxite. Where are you, Oxide? I know you're around here somewhere. But where? There's some. Is there any more, though? Man, my stomach is a rumbling. After I'm done recording these, it is definitely time for some dinner. And let's move on. All right, starting the whole thing over on DirectX 11. We're starting out FSR on ultra quality here. Oh, camera recorded now. Gotta get me some more oxide. Oh, I'm run out of air. That's just a stone. But that's more oxide. Sulfur. Yeah, here's some. Right next to some sulfur. Let's take some sulfur too. Never have too much of this. I don't see it super often. Well, okay then. And now let's move on. Now we'll get in a little quality gameplay, FSR. I'm excited to get farther in this game too. I mean, look at what I've done just with like wood. Once I can like go farther in the game and like get steel and all that stuff and computer stuff, that'll be awesome. I also wish I could find more caves. I found one other cave, which is the reason I made those bridges to try to get back over here in case inclement weather came. Because one time there was a lightning storm that happened when I was all the way over at that one, and luckily my house didn't get burnt down. But my hunting shack did, so I had to, like, rebuild some of it. That was kind of annoying, but hey, it gave me something to do at least, so there's that. Huh. Alright, anyway. Trying to decide where I wanted to go there. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. I think I wanted this one. Yep. Alright, let's like just get some light on the sitch here. And alright, let's also move on. Now for FSR quality. DirectX 11. I guess we do for that last one. I want her just falling off the side. 
rabbit. Oh, we can chop up some more of these trees. How about that? These guys were pretty gigantic. They're good for wood. Move on. All right, now for some balanced FSR gameplay here on good old DirectX 11. No well, balance seems to make it pretty damn playable so far. Need more wood for my building adventures. Man, this would be dangerous. There we go. Sometimes when there's a bunch of ferns and shit all over the place, it's hard to figure out where the hell your thing you're trying to axe is at. Is that it? Alright, well anyway. Ooh, axite. All right, though, let us move along. Now we'll get a little bit of some FSR balanced camera gameplay here. And it looks like it's gonna frickin' turn into night soon here, so hopefully I can finish this up for you guys real quick. I really don't wanna wait like 15, 20 minutes just to finish this video up. I've got like just performance left after this. But yeah, it's a uh, night times are coming. So the last part of my video might have to be at dusk. I just don't want to do videos at night in the complete darkness. That just sucks. So we'll see. We'll check out my bridge again. Well, I guess I should wait for my stamina. Why are half of my... Where did all my railings go? What the fuck? What is wrong with this game now? Now it's just like glitching out and being a pile of shit. Well, I, hopefully when I go back to my main computer, it'll be there. Because I really don't want to have to rebuild that damn thing again. It's getting really annoying. Every time I come to do videos on this laptop, it just changes shit around that I did. This one, at least, is still okay, it seems. But alright. Let's move on before it gets too dark. All right, trying to get this done before it gets too dark. Because this is the last one I've got to do. And yet I still have to leave enough time for some camera recorded gameplay after this little scene too. Hopefully I have enough. Because I don't want to do a video at night, nor do I want to wait 20 minutes. Before I, uh... Oh, what the hell? All the bridge just fucked up again. I really hate when that happens. I don't know if there was a storm I missed and didn't repair them, or if the game's just glitching out, or what. But that's annoying. Alright, let's run back over here and start turning on some lights before it gets too dark to see anything. And then I gotta run around my torch and damn it there's a wolf now too
All right, screw that. Anyway, let's move on. All right, it's almost night. I got wolves coming in. There we go. Let's get some light on here. But I still wanted to complete this video. I really didn't want to freaking sit around for 20 minutes waiting for it to be daytime again. And at least it's not completely dark. Just in places like that. Oh. I guess one broke? Alright, well. We can just make another one. That's not a big deal. It probably broke in one of those storms. Oh good, a thunderstorm, that's what I need. Well, might as well not even light this, but I'll at least give it its fuel. Might as well shut these all off, because they're just gonna get put out anyway in the rain. Oh, I missed him. There we go, now let's go to the bottom here. And I'm going to do what I always do in these situations, so my shit doesn't start on fire. I'm going to go up onto my roof. I'm going to don my... Oh, did that too soon. No, um, what the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Alright, we're just going to go up here. And we're just going to hide in my little shack. And that way, we have shelter. But I can still see if any lightning strikes, and then I can hit it out. But it's time for us to end anyway. Well, all right, guys. That's it for Icarus. Very fun game. Seemed to run okay-ish at 4K once you turned FSR on, but not with ray tracing on in any way, shape, or form. That was just trash. And running it on Epic was also pretty lame just by itself. Anything after medium was just unplayable. High end Epic. Oh, well. You can't, the laptop can't play all games at 4K policy. Never claimed it could. Anyway, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, ga or this gameplay video. And until the next one, peace out, guys.